Good morning. I have come up here today primarily to plant some garlic, which I will show you later. But I would also like to answer a couple of comments that I've had from uh, viewers. Uh, two, actually, and they're both on the same subject, really, so I deal with them together. Uh, firstly, Terry in Uppsala says... What happened to those tomato plants you were bragging about three months ago? Mine are doing fine. Well, I'll deal with that in a second, Terry. And also I have a letter from, or a note from Sydney in Las Vegas. And he says, when I grew tomatoes on my allotment, I got loads and loads of tomatoes and I had tomato sauce all over the place and a freezer full of it. Well, first of all, uh, Terry, uh, yes, I did I did have high hopes for, for my tomato plants and they did very well for a while. And then, well, I had, I had about four really delicious tomatoes and then the blight got hold of them. The same one that affects potatoes, it's called potato blight, phytophthora, and once that took hold, well, that was the end. Everything went brown. Uh, so uh, I'm sorry if I bragged, but uh, nature, I think I, I possibly up there in Sweden, you're a little bit further north and you may not have the same problem with blight that we do here. Uh, and Sydney. Well, first of all, Sydney, they're not tomatoes, they're tomatoes. And, uh, well, I think when you grew them, you were living in California, and the climate there is a little bit better than here. It's damp and cold here, and tomatoes like it warm, they like plenty of water, as long as you keep watering them, they're fine. And I suppose uh, their natural home is uh, something like a tropical rainforest. So as long as you keep them watered, they like the heat. And they will produce lots and lots of tomatoes for you. Uh, here, not so good. Anyway, onwards and upwards, I shall now go and plant my garlic. I've prepared this bed for them the garlic and uh, it's next to the onions and you treat garlic in a very similar way. I fluff the soil up a bit, taking the weeds out and I'm going to firm it down gently with my boot. All I have to do is break up the bulbs into these individual cloves and I'll push these into the ground. I've got about 25 to 30 of them from two bulbs. When you're planting these cloves, you need to leave six inches or so in between each plant because the weeds will grow up around them and you need to be able to get the hoe into them occasionally. There they are. There were 28 of them all together and they just come up to about here. Most things are finished now and uh, I'm just digging up potatoes, harvesting some greens. They will carry on through the winter. But look, look what I found. A Bramley apple. I didn't see it growing. Just found it by the tree. And uh, just goes to show Mum was right, you can't beat a good Brownlee. Anyway, that's me done for the day, and I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.